Hello everyone, this is the second part of our series where I'll be showing practical examples of the material that was presented in the last video. The first commands that we're going to touch on are ls, uh, dir, and uh, ll. Uh, so basically, um, those three. As you can see, they can basically do uh, the exact same thing, um, which is to list the current subdirectories. Uh, if we want to display the current working directory, just type in pwd, and we'll, and we'll show it on the screen. If we want to change the directory, type in cd with the name of directory that you want to uh, go into. In this case, we want to go into the MySQL directory, and um, uh, as you can see, uh, there are different files and uh, subdirectories here. If you want to go back one directory uh, in, just type in cd uh, with uh, two dots and space, and we're go we're going we're back to the uh, to the same directory. If you want to make the terminal clean of all previous output, just use the clear command, and it will clear the entire terminal. If you want to list all the previously typed uh, in commands, just go ahead and type in history, and this will display everything that uh, has been typed so far. Uh, let's just go ahead and clear that. Uh, you can do it on your own. Uh, if you want, when you name, uh, when you know the name of a particular file, but you don't know where it is located. Uh, just use the locate command. Um, locate, and for example, I want to find the server.properties file. So locate server.properties. Uh, and I, didn't, I mistyped it. Properties. Okay, here it is. Uh, it's located in uh, forward slash opt arcsite manager config. So uh, it, it works really fast, as you can see. Now let's move on to the commands related to memory. And the first one is free. Um, as you can see, uh, it displays uh, the output in kilobytes, which generally we don't want that. We want it to be displayed in human readable format, which is gigabytes. And you just type in uh, hyphen uh, H and it displays it. It's the exact same thing as if uh, you type in free dot g, free uh, hyphen g, and it will display it in gigabytes. It will round it uh, uh, to the. It will round. It will do some rounding, as you can see. Um, but uh, generally, uh, if you want more options, you can type in uh, free hyphen hyphen help and all the available options will be listed. So you can uh, type it into, uh, you can uh, uh, display it in uh, the output in bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, uh, uh, human readable, and there are some additional options right there. So let's move on to the next command, which is uh, df uh, hyphen h. Um, with this command, we can, easily see the size of all the folders in our storage. Um, here it is. Uh, if we want to, however, if we want to see the size of a particular subdirectory, we can use the du uh, command. Um, for example, we want to see the size of the archives, which in this case will be um, opt uh, arcsite logger data archives and here uh, here is the listing of uh, the sizes of each particular file and the size of the entire folder uh, at the bottom as you can see uh, when it comes to commands about the system there are two commands of interest particularly uh, the ps command which shows the processes and the other command of interest is the top command as you can see, it uh, displays uh, general uh, information uh, and it shows, uh, aside from, 
from active Linux processes, it displays um, the RAM as well in kilobytes. If you want to exit top, just uh, press Q um, and we can clear that as well. Uh, the next command that we're uh, interested in is uh, the ifconfig com command will display our network uh, uh, information, specifically the IP address in INET and Ether would displays the MAC address. Uh, if you want to see our hostname, what's the hostname of this machine, you just type hostname and it will display the hostname in the terminal. If we want to uh, see whether um, we can connect to, uh, to another um, machine uh, over the network, we can uh, check via a ping, uh, w w via the command ping, uh, and I'll just um, uh, copy with Ctrl and C and uh, paste with the right click um, uh, the IP address here. And as you can see, uh, we have uh, pings from this machine. Uh, to cancel it, just press Ctrl and C. And as you can see, there's 10 packets transmitted, 10 received, and 0% packet lost. So this basically checks whether we can connect over the network to another machine. Um, so yeah, the next part that we're going to touch on is um, um, file manipulation. Uh, specifically right now, we don't have any files here. Um, I'm going to create one using the touch command. Uh, so the first, I'm going to name it file1. As you can see, prior to that, we don't have a file. After I type in the touch command uh, and I do the listings, there, there it is, uh, we created a new file. We can edit that file using uh, the vi editor. Uh, we type in the vi and with the file1. Uh, here, uh, if we want to edit it, uh, basically, press I, and then we can insert whatever we want. Um, new file. Let's just say that. If we want to exit the file, just press escape, uh, colon, uh, WQ, and uh, exclamation mark. The W stands for write, Q stands for quit, and um, basically, after that, we exited the file. And if we want to see um, that the file, we basically um, created a new entry in that empty file, uh, that in the file that used to be empty, we can use the command cat uh, and uh, just type in the file name and see that this is the entry that we added. Uh, this works for other uh, files as well. But generally, uh, we can go into uh, the file once again with uh, uh, with the editor vi. Um, here, if we want to exit without making any changes, just uh, press uh, escape uh, and uh, colon q exclamation mark. You don't have to write anything, and it will be the exact same. Um, uh, I accidentally pressed cat without um, entering uh, a file. Let me just uh, okay, cat file one, and there it is. The entry is the, the exact same one. Okay, let's move on to the next command, which is uh, the make dir command. This is basically we can create directories using. Uh, this command. Uh, I'll, I'll name it fdirect. And as you can see previously, we didn't have that directory, but now once I list it, we have uh, uh, a new entry, uh, a new directory ha has been created. We can uh, move file one using the move command in that directory. For example, with the mv command, I can move file one into fdirect and you'll, you'll see that uh, the file itself has been transferred to um, 
uh, to that directory. And as you can see, there's only one file and it's file one. Okay, however, if we want to remove the directory and the file in it, we can use the remove command. So the remove command is rm. Um, I'm, I'm going to uh, basically go into, I'll f first show it um, how it's done if we want to remove one, uh, one file. I'll create another file, um, touch file two. Uh, as you can see, there's file two. If I want to remove that file, I just type in rm file two. Uh, it will ask me to remove it and I'll type in yes. And here it is, it disappeared once again. If I want to remove the file and uh, file one, which is in F direct, uh, in the F direct directory, I can just uh, type in rm and r with the hyphen r, F direct, and it will basically remove the directory and the file itself, and it will ask me, uh, yes, uh, remove yes, and yes, and basically you'll be able to see that everything has been removed the directory itself and the file itself uh, the first file that we moved into f direct um the la uh, the, the other um thing that we we might be interested in is uh, the copy uh command so let me create two more files uh file 1 and file 2 uh here they are uh, let's let's make some adjustments to file one. Um, let's uh, insert something into it. Um, new file. Uh, let's uh, write to it with Q and exclamation mark. Uh, we can see that uh, it's written in that file. But uh, in file two, if we uh, see file two it will display absolutely nothing because nothing is it in it, as you can see. But if we copy file one to file two, uh, override file two, yes. Um, as you can see that the file two will have the same exact value as file one. So this is why we can copy files. Uh, the last uh, part is uh, the change ownership. Uh, generally, uh, we, we can see the ownership of a file with ls-l. Um, um, as you can see, file 1 has um, root. Um, it's in the third column. Basically, it has, uh, it has the root owner. If you want to change that, just type in chown um, arcsite file 1 and it will change the owner. And as you can see, it's changed the owner to uh, ArcSight. All right, uh, that's it uh, from me. Um, thank you very much for watching and um, have a nice day.